In this presentation, we will add inventory with the use of bank feeds. In other words, we're going to see the payments for inventory within the bank feeds, add that information into our financial statements. Get ready because we're dropping in with Wave. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars dashboard. We're going to start off by opening up our reports down below to the reports on the left hand side, that being the balance sheet, that being the income statement, P&L, profit and loss. We'll start off with the balance sheet, opening that up, we'll duplicate the tab, going up to the tab up top, right clicking on that tab, duplicating that tab, going back to the tab to the left, going back down to the, re to the reports on the bottom left. And now we're going to be opening up the P&L, Profit and Loss Income Statement, right clicking on the tab up top, or mousing over the tab up top, right clicking on it, duplicating that tab. Back to the tab to the right where our balance sheet is, we're going to be adjusting the date range, selecting the date drop down, going to 2019, updating it. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to show the details for this report so we can see all the detailed activity because that's good to see. We like the detail. Then we're going to go back to the second tab, which has the P&L on it. Do the same type of activity here, bringing this out to 2019, updating that report go into the bottom of it, showing the detail so we can see the detail there as well. Now I'm going to take a look at the flow chart here so we can see our flow chart related to inventory. This is another one of those items that kind of complicates things from the cash basis method. You'll recall if we have inventory, then uh, there's a couple I ways we could we could think of inventory. We could think of like uh, the like the full service or the highest kind of inventory method, uh, the most difficult type of inventory method too to track in, within the software would be that the software tracks the items of inventory, actually calculates it within the software. And that means that when we purchase it, it's gonna go on the books as inventory for the financial statements, but also be tracked by item, in our case, by guitar. We're pretending we're buying guitars here, or we totally are buying guitars in our practice problem. So uh, it would have to like list out the type of a guitars and the cost of it and use the FIFO or LIFO method for it. Now we're not gonna do that within the system here, but just note that we, we need to track the inventory in some way uh, if that's the method we're going to use. And then when we sell the guitar, like with an, with an invoice or a sales receipt, we would, one, record the sales, increasing sales and uh, increasing the receivable or cash. And then we'd also have to, at that same point in time, under, under a perpetual inventory system, the software would have to know which guitar was sold, decrease the inventory, both in terms of the account of inventory and the inventory item for that guitar, and record the related cost of goods sold. What we're going to do here, that, now that would be the most complex system. The easiest system to, to use is a cash basis system where you basically just, you're just going to expense the inventory when you buy it. And we did that last time. We did that in month one. So if I buy the guitar and I know I'm going to I'm going to sell it pretty soon, I'm not holding on to the inventory. Well, then we could use a cash method and just expense it basically as cost of goods sold when we buy it. And then when we make the the basically sales receipt on a cash basis method, we would simply uh, record the sales half of it because we already recorded the inventory half by not recording it as inventory at all, but just expensing it at the point in time of purchase. And then we would, would record the sales half, which would just be recording the income and the related uh the the income and the related cash that we would receive at that point in time so that's going to be the, the other method the very simplified method then there's the method in between where we could use an accrual method but not use the accounting system to basically uh be, re be recording all the inventory on a perpetual method but rather use like a periodic method which we might use like an excel worksheet that's what we'll do this time and that means that uh, when you purchase the inventory, we're not going to just expense it on a cash basis. We're going to put it on the books as an asset in the system. So that means it's going to go into an inventory account on, on the books, on the financial statements. However, that inventory account will not be supported within the system by uh, a tracking, uh, a perpetual system in, in, the, in the books. It won't track the actual guitars. What we're going to do instead is track that in an Excel worksheet or some other location. And then we'll record it on a periodic type of basis, meaning I'm going to count it nightly or count it uh, at the end of the week or the end of the month. And we'll take the beginning inventory plus the purchases minus the ending inventory and we'll make an adjustment for it. So that means that uh, in the inventory account on the books, it'll go up when we purchase the inventory and we'll periodically, on a periodic inventory system, count our inventory, reduce the inventory to the physical count, and then record the other side to the cost of goods sold assuming we sold that inventory. 
So that would be a periodic kind of system that you can you can think about using. And that's what we'll do here. I'm going to go back over. I'm going to then go to the first tab and I'm going to go down to the uh, to the accounting. Then we're going to go into the transactions. I'm going to look for all the items that are going to be uh, possibly related to inventory. And obviously in, in practice, we would know who our vendors are. So we would be able to know who are our uh, who is inventory what what items are inventory and if you're a bookkeeper then you'll you'll get to know these vendors fairly quickly with someone else's books so fender is one of our vendors so that's going to be a, a fender as a vendor so i'm going to open that one up and that's who we buy inventory from and this time we we're not going to put it to cost of goods sold we're going to put this to inventory so let's see if we have an inventory account we do no that's an investment account not the investment inventory we don't have an inventory account so I'm going to add one. I'm going to go down below. And I'm going to say, hey, I need an inventory account. I'm going to call that just a normal uh, asset type of account. Now we do have, they do have an inventory class here. So I'll pick the inventory class. I don't want to track it. And then I'm going to say inventory, inventory. So we'll see what that looks like. I, if I can spell it right there, I totally spelled it right. All right. I copied the one above it because it's right there. So in any case, I'm going to say, say I told, I cheated and save that and then we're going to uh, save this and then we'll add the vendor so i'm going to go back up top because i've been practicing adding the vendor here because i think that's a good practice that we should be practicing and then i'm going to add the vendor and select the drop down and then i want to add a new vendor new tab then opens up we're gonna have a little blue button on the right side and it's a pretty big button it's not really a little button that's a like a well-sized button for buttons as buttons go that's a pretty good sized button it's a big button then i'm going to put fender in the name scroll down and we'll save that one once saved i'm going to close this back out we're going to go back to the first tab and we'll refresh the screen refreshing the screen so that the vendor will then show up in the drop down and we can then select it so then we'll scroll back down on the right and we're looking for the add vendor again. So I'm going to add vendor and we're looking for fender, the vendor. There it is. The vendor fender. <laughs> uh, that's fun to say. So I'm going to go back over and then check it off. We've done that one. So that one is done. And then I'm looking for other uh, vendors here. See if there's another fender. We would have seen a pop up if there's another fender. They would have told us. I think that's it. Is that it? We had Epiphone. There's no Epiphone. Usually Epiphones was our major vendor that we buy guitars from most of the time. But not not this month. Not this month. I thought I saw an Epiphone. Nope. I should sort this. <clears throat> but in any case, we'll then check it out. So we'll go back to the first tab and I'm going to go back up top and update the reports. And what's going to happen now is uh, we already had it in the ch in the cash account now inventory so now we have inventory so now the inventory is increasing now when will the inventory decrease the inventory should decrease on a perpetual method when we make a sale but we're not going to we're not going to record it decreasing when we make a sale because we're on a cash basis method so what we're going to do when we make a sale is we're going to see the cash deposit into the into the to the account and we're simply going to record the revenue side of it and the cash side of it we're not going to record the decrease in the inventory and the related cost to get sold so when will when will we do that at when whenever we do a periodic count so we'll count the inventory at the end of the night the end of the week the end of the month or so on and so forth and then we'll see how much is it has decreased by so we'll say begin you know here's our cost our equation cost to get sold beginning uh inventory plus purchases minus the ending inventory the count will give us then the cost of goods sold so in essence we'll write our inventory uh, most likely will down to the physical count and the other side of it the other side will then be cost of goods sold so that'll be like an adjusting entry that you'll have to do periodically on a periodic uh, inventory method so that's another kind of way that we can handle inventory so that's going to be it for now let's get out of here